Hello and welcome to How to Start a War. I am Sergeant PJ Bottom. Today we're going to be looking at four basic techniques and trainings of the US military. First, we will be starting with introductions. Next, combat training. And third, policies. Finally, how to start a war. There are two ways to be enlisted into the U.S. Army. The first way, register. Special delivery. Please sign here. All right, is that everything? That'll be it. Welcome what? to the U.S. Army. What? What the? Every damn time. The second way, get drafted. It's the draft, ma'am. And now, a crash course on everything you'll learn at boot camp. If you listen to these steps well, you probably won't get killed. Probably. All right, maggots, listen up. This is really, really important. If you don't know what to do, well, you're gonna just get killed, and that's really bad. If you don't want to get killed, then you should probably listen up because this is gonna be really bad stuff. Now, what you gotta do is get on the ground. Now, go on the ground. Now, now get up. Now, fly. Good. And you have to fly. Now, do a cartwheel. Now, do 50 cartwheels. You know, do it fast enough. Faster. Bend. Uh, I like that. Now, up, upwards. Aha. Yes, now you're gonna have to fire that rifle. Fire it this way. No, fire it the other way. Not. No, oh, yeah, yeah, good, very good. Now, what you're gonna have to do is fly. Make a, make a rapid fire. Time to run. Run as fast as you can. Now do it as slow as you can. I don't want to see any stragglers. Credit chop! Use your mind while you run. I want you to visualize the perfect thing in your very mind. It could be Marilyn Monroe, Lady Gaga, me, whatever it is that you want to visualize in your mind to keep you running, to keep you moving, to keep you going, to keep you flying, to keep you going. Sleep faster! Good, very good. I like when you sleep. Porcupines are terrorists, you know. You're gonna be eating nine square meals a day. There's a lot of them. They're gonna be blood, sweat, bullets. Yeah, that's right, bullets. They're gonna be so tasty. You're gonna eat those bullets, you're gonna poop out freedom. It's the smell of victory, boys. Now I wanna see every straggler. This is going to improve your mind, body, spirit, and gastronomical tract for war. These are fundamental things that you should be prepared to discuss at all times. Do I make myself clear? Say, <laughs> Sound good? Ah, welcome back. The great outdoors. Reminds me a lot of hunting in these woods with my father. He was a landmine, you know. My mother, an assault rifle. We're gonna be taking a look at some combat techniques today that probably won't get you killed. Probably. Hi, I'm Private Charles Craig here, and I'll be demonstrating the proper use of a grenade. First, the pin will be removed. Then a count will proceed before throwing it. Why well, yes, yes that is me. You're attractive too. Yes, I like that. No, I'm doing something now. I, I will talk to you later. I will talk to you. But I will talk to you later. You see. Good afternoon, I'm Private Sidney Harwood, and today I will be teaching you how to fire a gun. The first rule of firing a gun is turn the safety off and keep it off. Rule number two, make sure you have a target in mind. Rule number three, make sure your gun is loaded and make sure you have plenty of extra ammo. Rule number four, square your shoulders to the target. Line the sides up, squeeze the trigger, That is how you fire a gun. Moving on with basic training, Private Killaface has decided to show us how to move through barbed wire. Ah! That's good. Ah! Ah! Uh-uh. Ah! Under. Ah! Not ow! over. Good. Ow! Excellent. God, ow! Now, there's, there's ow! spiders. Watch out for the spiders and the scorpions. Ah! Now watch out for the bullets. And now to discuss the dress code of the U.S. Army, Private Nathan Fancyface. Nathan! Stand attention, soldier, where are you? Nathan? Nathan! Wait. 
Mother of God. What? What? What is it, Sarge? Okay. Um. <clears throat> come with me. Let's see here. here. We're going to be moving onwards and upwards. Now we have to go outside. And okay. Um. <clears throat> well, I guess that brings me to my next point. Don't ask, don't tell. It's a policy in which two people of the same gender cannot engage in any sort of relationship. And if you don't like it, you can get out! Actually, that's not true, Sarge. I've, I've tried. I see. Well, if we don't like it, we'll kick you out! That, that, that is true. You know, some people say what's wrong with the world is that not enough people talk to each other. Well, to that I say, baloney! People should be shooting each other left and right. Here's some tips on how to start a war. Yeah. Good evening. Have you heard the good news? Yeah, I have actually. Well. Yeah. Hey, have you heard the bad news? You've been invaded. Ooh, resources. Marco? Polo. Marco? Polo. Marco? Polo. And that's it! A life in the military can be a very rewarding career. You don't have to be the man's man. Well, actually, if you're too much of a man's man, you'll be kicked out, but... The military offers a lot of opportunities for people in the humanities, in the arts, Music. Okay, I was just making that up, but it sounded reasonable. Good night. <laughs>